your boots and throw off your cloaks. Yes, you can keep your weapons if you must. I don't blame you for being nervous. Even I, yes, even I am a trifle apprehensive. We've champions deep in the dungeon dimensions, and a game so devious in progress that Lord Fear himself will be pressed to match us. Come, Pickle, read us in. It's the St. Albans challenge that sustains, Master. Close to the sword they are, with Dungeoneer Alan. Advisors Jim and Nick. Number three is Mark. Alan's carrying a key, though no gold or magic. Over 40 minutes down the path, deep into level three, I don't think I can look. Well, someone's got to pickle. Let's face it, Alan can't see much. I just hope Lord Fear is as nervous as we are. Game on. Alan, you're on the, uh, what's it called? The cause, right, the causeway. Okay. Um, but above you is a... Warning figure. team, when the Fright Alan... Night sword hits the top of the archway, one level of the causeway will fall away. Right. Hey, Alan, that means it's a, a time. So, uh, either, either. Just, Alan, Alan, go to one four. Just go Alan, go to the right, a little bit. Oh, turn. Side step to your left. Ooh. Nasty. Uh, we're dead, Alan. Pickle, the star. Oh, right. I, didn't touch I warned you, you've got to be quick in level three. And oh, I shall be quick. Farewell, boys. Ah, parting is such sweet sorrow, particularly when you depart empty handed. <laughs> I'll thank you not to gloat, Lord Fear. True, we may be lacking a few conclusive results, but the opposition hasn't exactly covered itself in glory so far. Anyway, I predict you will shrink before our next challenge. Enter, stranger. Ah, yes. Uh, your name and direction, young challenger. January Payne from Shrewsbury. Oh, shrink. Shrink. Positively Blanche. Not exactly warrior material, is she, Tregard? You'd be better off sending your elf. What's his name? Dickle? It's Pickle! Yes. Precisely. Ignore him, January. Lord Fear, you know the rules. Cease communication. We are about to encounter game on status. Oh, very well, you old spoil sport. Bye-bye, January. Be seeing you. <laughs> Sorry about that, January. Don't let him put you off. Now call on your advisors and do call loudly and clearly. Sarah, Sarah, Sean. Right. Now we have a new team, we'd better provide some equipment. Uh, Dickle? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Only joking. Pickle, would you do the honours, please? <laughs> now then, who are you all? Sarah Holsell. Sarah Chambers. Sean Ansel. Good. Now then, January, take this knapsack for food. Because you'll need plenty of reserve energy where you're going. And now the eye shield. To show the rest of us the path you take. And now the helmet. To prevent you from seeing that same path. Although it will allow you to see any objects you pick up. Uh, any second thoughts? No. Good. There. Now, let me point you in the right direction. That's the last time I'll be able to do so. Away you go. And good luck on your journey. OK, Jan. Yeah? You're in a big room. There seems to be a hole in front of you. Huh? So directly in front of you, there are four blue blocks. One's got a sword on. One's got a crown, one's a shield, and one's a chalice. Ah, yes, the choice of paths. All equally dangerous and all equally rewarding. These are the four classic quests. The cup that heals, the sword of freedom, the shield of justice, and the crowning glory. Choose just one, and choose your pathway into peril. The crown. Yeah. OK. Right, Jan, could you um, sidestep twice to your left? One step forward, and a slight step forward again. 
Stop. Right. Can you um, walk forward? Keep going. Stop. Take a, just a tiny little step to your right. Tiny step. That's it. Okay. Right, walk forward. I don't like dwarf tunnels, Master. They're too narrow. Meet something coming towards you and there's no chance of escape. Well, I suppose you could always turn round and run away. Well, then you'd be forgetting your own rules, Master. The only way ahead is onward. There's no turning back. True, how true. What a depressing fellow you are, Pickle. Come on, January, onward. OK, January, you're in a forest and there's a, there's a um, little man. He stood there waving at you. It looks right. He's Oi, you! Yes, you up there. Don't move whatever you do, otherwise you'll tread on me. Oh, oh. What's your name then, you, you great elephant? January. What? January. January? Yeah. Well, January, my name, as I'm sure you know, is Motley. Yes, I'm the world's greatest professional entertainer. Yeah, na, 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 boom. Trouble is, it's a bit of a small world at the moment. I suppose you're wondering how I've got to be this size, are you? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll tell you. It's a tale of unrequited love. That's what it is. It is. You see, I'm carrying a candle for that Sidrus the Confused, daughter of none other than old Haldris the Confuser. Sidrus, I says to her, Sidrus, this thing is, oh, it's bigger than the both of us. No, it isn't, she says. It's just bigger than you. And she whips out a spell and knocks me down to the size of a mouse, which is none too friendly, I can tell you. Not when you take into account that her familiar is a blooming cat. Anyway, January, you can't leave me here like this. That ruddy Cheshire Moggy, he'll eat me for breakfast, he will. Oh, January, I can hear him coming now. I'm going to hide in this box. Pick it up, will you, for pity's sake. Right, Jan, can you sidestep to your left, please, and keep going until I say stop? Go on. And again. Stop. Right. Turn to your left and you'll January? see a box. Can you pick January? it up? January? Yeah? Close the lid, will ya? I'll get a terrible case of vertigo, I'll do. Right, pick it up, the box. Ooh, careful. Oh. Right, sidestep to your right. And turn to your right. And walk forward. Keep walking until I say stop. Now, all we've got to do is find that citrus right and appeal to her better nature. Yeah. Let's just hope she's got one January, eh? Right, you're walking down um, a country lane and there's loads of trees around you, and, like an arch around you. Still walking down there and there's a porthole in front of you. You're walking into a door now. OK, Jan, in front of you, there's like um, a small house with a thatched roof and to your left there's like a wicker basket or something and there's a yellow blanket with lots of items on. Okay. Right, can you take um, two side steps to your right, please, Jan? And then walk forward until I say stop until you come to the blanket. Yeah, okay, I can see it. Right, can you tell us what's on the blanket? Um, a scroll, some gold, carrot, a stone, um, and this like bag thing, and an eyeglass. Right, can okay. you put the carrot in your knapsack, please? If you read the scroll yeah. to us now. Yeah, if you can open the scroll up, please, and read what's written. Thanks. It says, sprinkle to deforest, remember to be odd. Right, OK, you can put it down now. Right, can we just see the, um, what, what's on the blanket again? Uh, like, an eyeglass thing, a yeah. uh, stone, some gold, I mean, and this pouch thing that says deforest powder. Do you, do deforest. You want, 
Do you, want, to, what, um, do you want to pick up? Yes. Yeah. Do you yeah. want to pick up the eyeglass yeah. and have a look through it? <laughs> yeah, it might tell us something. Can you put it up to your um, shield? Really? Well, I'm scared. Well, who wouldn't be? Understand me, fear, and understand me well. If one hair of one's daughter's head is harmed, and if she has not returned forthwith, then I will split Mount Fear in two and turn the remains into volcanic dust. Oh, will one? The trouble with you, old thing, is you've started to believe your own scrolls. Now listen to me, you pompous old practitioner, and listen good. I have your gormless offspring held in a particularly useful little charm. Either you surrender and give your bonded agreement never to advance aid to another Dungeoneer, or I'll have her clapped into the goblin pens. Now, I suggest one reviews one's position and lets one's superior have an appropriate and respectful answer before the day is out. Dismiss. <laughs> oh, most satisfactory. Oh, just a minute. Why, the very cheek of it. I do believe someone is looking at me. OK, Jan, put the glass down quickly. Right. Right, th so there's the powder, the green stone and the gold, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, this is unfair, Master. January should be able to choose two objects, but with Mockley in that box, she's only got one spare hand. Yes, I see what you mean. Oh, well, a dilemma, certainly, but not one without a solution. They could simply choose to abandon Mockley. After all, he's of doubtful value. Jan, ask him what he'll do for us if we help him. What will you do if we help you? Listen, if we find Sidris, she can turn me back to my normal size. And when I'm my normal size, I'll be able to help you. I promise you. I think you've got to choose now. Right. What do you think we should take? What about the... Well, the powder? I think powder. we need the powder. Uh, yeah, I think we need the powder. Because of yeah, the because scroll. sprinkles. OK, yeah. to pick up the powder then. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take Motley. Yeah, with. take Motley. Yeah. Right, we'll tell take... Motley we're taking him. Motley, we're taking you. Oh, gently. Oh, 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 I'm a jester, not an acrobat. Oh, oh, that's it. OK, can you step over the blanket and um, walk forward, please, until we say stop, and then you'll be entering the hut. Walk no, forward. Right, turn, turn to your left, turn to your left. Right, walk forward, quickly. Quickly, quickly. quickly. Turn to your right, stop, turn to your right. Look a bit. Right, walk forward. Forward. Stop. Right, keep going. Lord keep going, Fears keep going, keep going. <laughs> OK, Jan, mm -hmm. in front of you there's a pattern of numbers in a shape, right? We're going to have to guide you across them, I think. OK. Well, I can't seem to make any sense of this puzzle, Master. Just seems to be a collection of odd and even numbers, as far as I can tell. Yes, it's one of Lord Fear's little games. Nothing sporting about the fright like light, it. though. When his sword reaches the red dot, the wrong section of floor will fall away. Oh, dear. Just make sure you're on the right one. Do you remember we had to do the odd bit? Yeah, yeah I remember to the be odd. The sword's so moving, go to one. Uh, can you take a side step to the left, please, Jan? And walk forward. And again. And take a small side step to the left. And again. And again, right forward now. Keep going. Right, start up. Right, um, can going. you forward. walk forward again? Walk forward. Right, take a side step to the right. Walk forward. Walk forward quickly. Walk forward. Stop. Take Walk to your left. To right. 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 Keep going. Stop. Stop. Seven. Right. Can you walk to your left now? Right. Forward. Stop. Stop. Forward. The odd path. The odd path. Be careful. I'm going to go to the other seven on the right. Go okay. right. Go right. right. To your right. To your right. Quickly on your right to again. To your right. To your right again. Back. To your right. Back. To your right. Keep going to your right. Right. Right, right. Walk forward. Oh, to your right, to your right, to your right, to right. Okay, right, and forward, forward one. I keep going, keep going, going forward. forward. Stop. Stop. Right, go to your. Can you turn around? To turn your around to your right. To your right. Turn to. Your no, the other way. To your right. Okay, walk, stop. Walk forward. No, no. Straight stop. stop. Left. To your left. Right. Quickly, turn. Turn, turn, turn to your left. 
Turn to your left. left. Quickly. Right. Stop, stop, stop. No, walk, a bit to your right. To your right, quickly. Right, right go. Forward. 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 Go on. <sighs> okay, Jan, there's a fireplace in front of you, and there's a woman stood there in a dress, and there's a window on your left. It's just a, a bare room. Do you want to um, turn around and say hello or something? Where is she? She's, She's on your right, so side step to the right. OK. okay. Hello. Walk forward. Here, January. Yeah? Did you say there's a woman? Yeah. Oh. What does she look like? Uh, can She's I... got long blonde hair. And she's got and a pink thing. dress. Pink dress on with red underneath and, a, um, like, a red and black bodice. Uh-huh. Do you, Do you want, want to, to tell, tell Motley? Yeah, uh, she's got a... Long blonde hair. She's got long blonde hair. Oh, wearing a pink and red dress a with pink, a... pink and red dress. With a black and red bodice. <gasps> with a black and red bodice. <gasps> January! It's her! It's Citrus! The blight of me life! Here. Is she moving? No, she's not. <gasps> no, she's not. She's trapped! <gasps> Serves her right. Here, put me down, and I'll tell you what to do. Oh, right. Now, what you need to do is you need to pour the powder in your hand. Right. Do you want to pour the powder in your hand then, Jan? Out of the bag? And then get close enough, not too close, to throw it. OK. When you can see her feet, chuck it. Okay. And what's more, I don't speak to strange men. Least, not when there are strangers. Where's he gone? Where did you come from? I just walked in. Oh, it's been a rather oh. odd day. I was just talking to, well, listening actually, to this old beggarman, and all of a sudden I came over all strange and. Well, there you are. What's your name, by the way? January. Oh. <laughs> Grief! It's goblins! Take my hand, let's get out of here. Here! What about me, you stupid bism? Oh, sorry, not you, January. Hey, don't leave me here to the goblins. So that's where you've got to. You're in there, are you? All right, January. I've got the little Ooh. pool. Ow! Come on. Yes, come with me. Oh! Jan, goblins are coming up behind you, but Sid just is guiding you. You're safe through the ash field now. You're walking through a door. I've got a spider in my head. Oh, never mind, Spider Sea. Hurry up and get us out of here. Quick now. Oh, they're close behind us. And unless we can find an elf portal, there's only one way to shake them off. What, the spiders? Oh, no elves, I mean goblins. I mean. Oh! oh turn around, turn around! Oh, goblins oh. are there, Jan. Come on. Oh. Okay. Quick, in the boat. Quick. No, I'll go first. Um, you take Mockley. Oh. oh. Oh, very good at this. Um, come on, come on, January. We'll get you too. Now, um, put Molly there on your lap. And how do you do this? Um, whoops. Oh dear. I think I just uh, caught a lobster. Crab. You what? Crab. You call me one more name, Midget, and it's over the side for you. <sighs> now, I suppose I ought to thank you. I suppose that that beggar man, I mean, must have been an evil magician of some sort, because I've got awful cramp. That means somebody must have spell trapped me. Oh. Well, that means I owe you a favour. Hmm. Now, I can, um, I can give you the password for level one, or I can grant you a wish. But, um, well, you can't really have both, because, well, I mean, it wouldn't be fair, would it? So, what's it to be? <coughs> what should we have? The password, Jan. Think. We have the password, yeah. please. Here, Jan. Yeah. Jan, what about helping me, eh? Your old mate Motley. What do you want me to do? Well, oh. I, I could help you, you see, but I'd have to be back to my normal size again, so mm. I wish it wouldn't be a bad thing to have. Mm. What should we do, team? Mm. Um, ask him what he can do for us if we help him. What can you do for us, Motley, if we help you? What can I do for you? The qu what can I do for you? <laughs> Listen, turn me back to me normal size and you'll be all right. I'll see you all right. We're buddies, we're mates. Ask him if you can give us the password if we turn him back to normal size. If we turn you back to your normal size, could you give us the password? I think I might be able to manage that. Yeah, I think I can. I think you'll have to make a choice yeah, now. Turn him yes. back. Turn OK. Him back. okay. Right, can you ask for the wish then, Jan, please? Can we have the wish, please? Yippee! <sighs> yes. And, um, what did you want to wish? 
to turn Motley back to his normal size. All right, then. I don't think he deserves it, but all right. Um, well, I'm not going to do it here, because this boat's too small anyway. So, um, oh, here's the landing stage coming up. Jan, you're just going to the landing stage. You're just coming up to the landing. Jet. Now, Jetty, that's it, yeah. you get off first while I tie up. If I can remember any knots. Right, the ice shield's showing us the way. You're just walking off the jetty and you're going into, like, a forest, but there's a few clearings. There's big trees around you. Hey, hang on a minute. All right, go on. I'm right behind you. Here, yeah, January. I can't wait to get out of this box. Oh, let's just hope Sidris doesn't change her mind. There's she a door in front you. know. Just coming towards yes, the door. Yes, an elf, an elf portal, almost straight ahead of you. Time out. January will just have to pause upon the path until time turns again. I do hope Motley won't continuously chat to her while she's stuck there. It'll seem like purgatory. Of course, time will pass slowly for you too. I understand that. So, to assist its passage, I'll furnish you with a useful thought. Play fair, or fear play foul. Game on resumes at the witching hour. <laughs>